Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing out there? I'm doing just fine here. I Sorry I haven't done a reading in a while. I had a really long work weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Did a convention, so I was wiped out every day. So I'm back, and uh, I had a subscriber ask me to do a reading on Julian Assange. So that's what I'm going to do. Julian. Julian Assange. And I... He is living in the Ecuador Embassy in London for the, what, last six years or something? And I just heard on the news that he's suing them because <laughs> they gave him a set of house rules, evidently, and then they cut off his internet and uh, put it back on, and he thinks that they're, you know, I guess, infringing on his rights or something. I don't know. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of gumption, that's for sure. I don't know, you know, if you should sue the host that's keeping you from getting uh, arrested <laughs> and put in jail. Anyway, I'm doing a reading on him. All the cards are all ready to go. I'm ready to read on him. They're all put out. Y'all know I don't ever, you know, shuffle the cards and annoy you on camera because it's annoying to the ears. Anyway, here we go. I'm ready to do the reading. And uh, just thank you so much for viewing my videos. Make sure that you hit the subscription button to subscribe and hit the bell for notification of the next one and push like if you liked it, okay? Got to get that all done. And if you want a reading, just look down there. There's my email down below and uh, I can do a, a tarot reading for you, 10, uh, 10 card exactly like this one you're about to see. It'll be 10 cards with a couple of extra things attached um, and it is $25, you guys. So as long as I can do them for that price, I will. I'm enjoying it a lot. I love y'all's messages, and I, I love doing readings for y'all. So let me know if you want one, okay? All right, here we go with the reading. This is the bottom of the deck. This is the flavor of the reading. And this is all about um, ambitious, focused energy. So even though he's, he's uh, you know, held up in an embassy, he still has a lot of ambitious energy about what he's doing. All right, here's his first card, if I can pick it up off this table. And it's kind of weird, look. His first card is the moon. And I think this is this is about, you know, bringing um, like secrets to light, unknown knowledge, bringing them out into the open. And that's what he does, that's his business, right? That's what, he, WikiLeaks, right? So that's what he does is leak, you know, information. So this is bringing a light to unknown information. So that's pretty cool. That's what he does. And right across that is the number two card. It goes across it like this. King of Pentacles. So I think this is either like his benefactor or his supporter. Someone that's, um, you know, providing for him and m making sure that he has what he needs and taking care of him and helping him. So I think that, I don't know who it is. But I think this this person's helping him. Somebody. Somebody's helping him, of course. He has to be getting help from somebody. And overlooking his situation, he got the death card. So some big change is going to come um, happen for him. You know, there's something drastically that's going to change for him. Maybe he'll get kicked out of that embassy. <laughs> I don't know. But it's a new phase. So this just means a new phase is beginning and it could be good for him. It could be really good because usually this means uh, death of one phase of your life and a new phase opens up. So maybe things are going to, you know, look up for him. Maybe he'll make a deal and he'll get out of that embassy, hopefully, for his sake, you know. I don't know how y'all feel about him one way or the other. I only know a little bit about what I read about him. I don't know that much about him. I, tr I like to do cold readings, y'all. I don't like to read a whole bunch on people and then have it in my mind when I'm reading. So, okay. Foundation of his situation, the Empress. So this just means he needs to take, you know, care of himself. She's about nurturing and taking care. So, and this new possibility that's coming up from the death card, it's all in play. It's going to be good for him. So just means he needs to take care of himself. Take care of yourself, Julian. And uh, the new possibilities are coming are going to be good. That's a good card for him. All right. Then we have his past. And look at this. 
five of cups, right? Cups are knocked over. And this means he has regrets about what he did in the past. So I think this means the reason why he's there in the first place, I don't think he would do that again. I think he has regrets about that and the way that he's had to live. So this, this is all about feeling regretful, okay? All right, and then his future card. Look at this, y'all. Future card is justice. So he will receive justice in the future. Hmm, that's cool. He's going to receive justice, y'all. Seventh card is his state of mind. This is the Three of Pentacles. So I think this means, um, this is about people working together, you know. So this is state of mind. He is wanting people to help him. I think he's looking for help from somebody. That's what he's thinking about. His state of mind is, I need some help. Please help me. I, I want help. That's, that's what's going on right now. All right. And his eighth card is the emperor. So uh, he has some kind of plan that he's methodically working on, y'all. He, um, he feels what he does is for the greater good. You know and he really wants to be understood by the world that's what this card means he, he feels like he's he's doing a service for everybody and he pays a price for it too he just feels like he's misunderstood you know here is his fear position card and that's five of Pentacles and you know that's the left out and feeling left out in the cold card so I think that's his fear, is, of course, is being put out. And, you know, being left out in the cold means if he got put out, he'd be arrested. So that's his fear is being put out and, you know, getting arrested, I guess. And here we go with this outcome card. This is Six of Pentacles. Got a lot of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> so I think this means... See, this is, uh, this is a wealthy guy, and these are people that need help. And this is, could be charity or could be wealth. But in his position, the way, uh, you know, where he's at, he has to rely on help from others. So this card just indicates he will continue to need help from others, and he will really have to rely on charity of others. He's going to, he's going to still need help, y'all. So I don't know. What's going to happen? How much justice he's going to get? I know he's suing, you know, the embassy. Maybe he'll get justice suing the embassy. Maybe that's what the justice is. So that, you know, he'll, he can stay there longer. I don't know. But he'll still need help. He's going to still have to continue to um, rely on others' help. Okay. So that's my reading. Uh, somebody asked me to do that reading, so I thought that was it was interesting. And so I thought I would do it. He's an interesting character. So that's, you know, status quo for him now, I guess, right? Nothing too, too giant is happening, it looks like, on the outcome. So except for that death card, you know, that something might change, something big might change. Maybe they'll give him a suite in the embassy. I don't know. Maybe he already has one. He must be comfortable. I don't know. You know, they gave him a list of rules. I was just reading. They gave him a list of rules, and I guess he didn't like them. And it told him, you know, to take care of his cat and all that. <laughs> He's got a cat in the embassy, y'all. Well, good for him. Nobody wants to be all alone. you got to have something. Just think how much, um, you know, love and good feeling that cat is providing for him. Because we know how much we love our animals, right? All right, guys. Thanks for viewing my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the comments, all the nice ones. I haven't had too many bad comments lately. <laughs> thank goodness. Maybe we weeded them all out. I don't know. But thank you very much for the comments. I appreciate it. I read all of them. So thank you very much. And if you want a reading, just contact me, okay? So do something good for somebody today. It'll come back to you. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.